Chris, we're B2B. We don't need to own. We're, we're fine with the domain we have. We don't need to upgrade and create some, a simple and an effortless and a clear path for our customers. <laughs> hey, Chris Zyker with Media Options. Help companies to acquire the raw version of the brand. Broken to the best that means the planet. Check it out at chrisziker.com. Check out mediaoptions.com. Check out dnx.com. Check out my daily podcast on episode 700 gazillion. Uh, five days a week. Done a lot of podcasts, like several years worth. A uh, lot of information, negotiations, and and pricing and domain names in general, a lot of good stories. Anyways, story today is this. I, I had this conversation probably three to four times a week with companies. And it's usually with companies that have like maybe the two words of their domain. Maybe they add a the or a my or a try. Maybe they have a different extension like a .io, .ai, .net, .org, .xyz, .whatever, whatever, right? And it usually goes like this, okay? So, you know, we reach out to them either on the acquisition side or reach out to the buy side. And it's like, Chris, you know, we're B2B. We don't really need this domain name, like, right? I mean, we're comfortable with where we're at. And, I'm, and you know, we wouldn't value it more than maybe a couple thousand dollars, okay? A couple hundred bucks, maybe 50,000, maybe 100,000, right? I don't know. Different domains are different, different, uh, different pricing, but uh, very, very similar, right? We don't value it. Like, we don't need it. And I usually say, like, that's just not true. It's like, um, you know, you're looking at it all wrong because, listen, you've just baked into the cost of confusion today, okay? That's all you've done, you know? I mean, you just, it's just, you're comfortable with your confusion today. You're comfortable with this cost. But I said, the reality is this is that the sandbox you're playing in today is not going to be the sandbox you're playing in in, uh, in a couple of months from now, right? Or a year from now or three months from now. I said, once this domain name sells, and it's going to sell, okay, great domain names sell. They just do. Like, I mean, they just don't stay on the... They don't stay in the market for long. I mean, like intent.com is more brokering. I mean, I I love this domain name. I may want to buy this domain name for me. I mean, I just love it so much. It's just like, it's intent, right? It's just, it's it's what fuels our actions. Okay, so anyways, I'm digressing. I said, listen, it's going to it's gonna sell. I said, in the sandbox you're playing in, in the future, I said, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. And I tell them the story about Kraken, Rum, and Kraken.com and how if you search Kraken today, guess what? You just like, you see Kraken crypto exchange, like crack and rum, although they spent maybe 50 to $70 million of marketing, they don't exist. And this happens over and over and over and over again. Carrot.com, carrot.co, you know, twist.com, all the other twist brands, right? Plume.com, Arcadia.com, Rubicon.com. Okay. All these domains we sold. Okay. Listen, the, like it changed overnight. And I just did a podcast. I think it dropped yesterday or today. It was called Normalcy Bias, and it got, kind of goes into more depth in this in this process. But I said, like, it's just not it, like it's not true. I said your objective is to create an effortless and a the simple and effortless path for your customers. Uh, but but here's the caveat, okay? It's also the biggest risk, okay? So I mean, a lot of times you think, well, how's it gonna how's it going to help our business out, Chris? Right? How are we going to you know how's that going to increase our business? I said, well, okay, first of all. You know, how many customers are you losing today because they don't get your email address, right? Or they go to this other company or, um, you know, just the cost, like look at the crack and rum, right? I mean, your marketing dollars don't stretch, okay? So there's that, there's that positive momentum, but there's also this massive negative momentum for not acquiring your branded domain name. Listen, there's 45 trademark classes, okay? There's many different ways that, um, you know, that a company can, um, it may, they may be even more of that. I don't know, I'm not a trademark lawyer, but let's say you add on different words, you know, like blue something or red something, maybe, but you have that, that raw version. Maybe there's even more, <laughs> I don't know, right? Probably, I imagine. Um, you probably stretch that out, maybe, you know. But here's the thing, okay, is that uh, with global positioning is super important. If another company acquires this domain name and now, you know, you're competing with them, okay, by default, okay, domains we broker, but by default, brand equity, momentum, and movement in the marketplace, and they're doing marketing, and they're getting their message, and they're branding out there. Now you're competing with this other company for your keyword, okay? How many companies out there can be, you know, carrot dot carrot, right? Like one, there's carrot.com. And what happens is that you'll forever have to say, hey, go over here, don't go over there. Right? You're talking about your brand in this negative light. But the reality is that there's also this risk as far as, let's say, something happens. I mean, listen, we're in a different world today, okay? I mean, uh, you know, cancel culture, right? I mean, one thing. And then, you know, they're associating that with your brand. And you're having to say, no, 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 but it's not us. That's not us. We're good guys, right? Uh, it happens. It's going to, you know, it can happen super easy. It can happen super easy. And so that's why you want, you need to create the simple and path. And like... 
The reality is this, is that most domain names out there today are a fraction of the true value that they're really worth to your brand, okay? You know, you look at workforce.com and workforcesoftware.com. Listen, I mean, they just like, wow. Would they have gone back? Would they have bought that? Yeah, they would. They would have. I mean, that's a completely different story. Google, look it up. But anyways, uh, that's the conversation. And it's interesting because a lot of times what happens is that they know it, okay? They know they've they've emailed a different company. <laughs> and their customers have emailed a different company. The customers have called a different company. I mean, we have story after story after story about this. Anyways, going long here. That's my thoughts. It's like you, you need to, 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 to buy it. Now, one caveat here, okay? So let's say you're an investor and you know you're like should i buy every single domain extension uh yeah you know you, it's not a bad idea if, if it's a great brand but here's the thing okay is that you want to other companies uh, different different topic okay i'll do a podcast on that what domestic what domain investors should do but if you're a brand okay you should acquire as many of the extensions you can in the raw version um the different extensions because what it does is it locks in and it your messaging for that for that keyword okay it's very important it's global position global positioning it's one of the biggest risks that your brand has uh, and risk that you have to momentum, risk that you have to, um, to owning, um, to, uh, really to owning the leadership position for your brand in the marketplace outside of your trademark class, okay? If you found value in this, share it up. You just got done listening to another episode of Dot Com Strategies. Check us out online at chrisziker.com and at mediaoptions.com.